I started my cares after experiencing racism in the middle of a supermarket. I was told to go back to where I came from and take the COVID-19 virus with me. This was in the middle of the pandemic. At the time it happened, I went through a multitude of emotions. I felt so disempowered at that point. I didn't really know what to fully do, where to go, who to ask for help. That for me became a real aha moment. We need to have a solution that makes sure that women who experience racism are supported in the right way as soon as it happens. That's the problem that Maya Care solves today. There was a guy uh, on the train and he was very rude. He, he was shouting like, go back to your country, get out of this country and things like that. That made us really sad. If I know about Maya Cares at that time, I would have uh, reached out and asked for help and what I should do to overcome my situation. Maya Cares is the digital big sis supporting women to respond to racism and heal from racism anytime, anyhow, and from anywhere. Collaborating with the Australian Red Cross has been so beneficial to how far we've been able to come. It was really critical to us that when we were developing this platform, we did it in an ethical way. So this meant to really, really slow down and move at the speed of trust, which is one of the Humanitech principles. The work of Maya Cares is so important because it is tackling one of the most challenging and persistent issues that we continue to face as humanity, which is racism. And so to be able to access innovative technologies that look at interesting ways to solve this is very exciting for us. And these solutions are built for, by, and with women of color, black women, and Aboriginal and Torres Strait women, which is very powerful. As soon as you've experienced racism, you come onto the platform, right away you will see Maya and there's an option to go chat to Maya. Maya serves this function of being a container and just holding space and hearing you out, almost like a therapist would. Maya will also point you towards the resource library where you find information, including lists of other culturally appropriate mental health professionals to be able to access resources that are trauma-informed and culturally appropriate is very, very important if we're able to get solutions that are suitable for those impacted. Collaboration and community co-creation has been at the very heart of the design of Maya Cares by intention, by design, to share their lived experience, but also their lived expertise around driving solutions for racism. Australian Red Cross has deep expertise around community engagement and so we're learning a lot from Maya Cares around the technology but we also provide our own expertise around strategy and community engagement so that they can take their technology to the next level. We've had multiple women from our communities reach out to us after the launch of Maya Cares to share with us their surprise and excitement that in the face of the fear of where artificial intelligence is going, we have created this alternative of how it could be done right. That has felt really, really validating. Because it's AI, you don't really worry about re-traumatizing this thing that you were talking to, because often when I have conversations like these with my friends, I am worried that I can be a burden sometimes, because racism is such a heavy thing to talk about. It's about education. It's, it gives you the different options to go, well, what do I want to learn? Do I want to be supported? Do I want to process something? That's probably what I love about it. My hope for Maya Cares long term is that together with the support and in partnership with Humanitech, we're actually no longer needed and we've made ourselves entirely redundant because if that happens, it means that we've actually made a difference in solving for systemic racism.